bite and it hangs in your teeth and not the pizza. And, and it's all hot and burns my chin. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that one. Hard. Yeah. Well, this is all hot and it's going to burn your hands. So. Okay, great. Well, you can see video of this at okfoodie.com. We'll post it there. But uh, uh, just to describe what we have here on the counter at the Shrine Center Kitchen, to, from left to right, we have a huge mixing bowl with whey and curd. Uh, Amanda is pulling the curd out right now. And then we have three more mixing bowls with salt water, right? That's just plain hot water. Just plain hot water. Salt's in the little bowls in front of it. Okay, so it's not, there's not salt and water. We're actually going to knead the salt into the cheese. Yes. All right. So, bring you boys some curd. Now, this water is still pretty hot. I'm going to probably heat that up just a little bit more. Uh, we're going to have some curd. There's some forks in front of you in case it's a little too hot for your hands to start with. And as soon as I get, get finished putting more hot water in there, it will be. But the idea is to soften this cheese enough to where it'll really stretch and it won't just snap in half when you pull it. Okay. Are you recording this? Yes. All right. This is, uh, this is right out of the milk. This is the curd. Kind of stretchy, but not enough yet. It's got to be hotter. Got to be hotter, and then you'll just want to go ahead and work that salt in there because what we don't want to do, because this cheese that we're pulling right now is going to go on top of the spring onion soup that Chef Jennifer is going to be making for us. And so we want this to remain nice and soft, and the more that you stretch this and work this, the firmer it will become. So we want to basically just take this up until the point where it starts stretching, and I will show you when we do this, you're going to want to put this in there. Barry can show you, he's an expert at this thing. Okay, he's going to put the forks. I'm going to grab my fork here. Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what? We're, we're pulling it out flat. We've got well, we'll try just so it warms through faster. Okay. This is mm -hmm. not a light plane with potato. Yeah. Sort of. Grab a little cheese saw. Work some cheese in here, work some salt in here to the cheese, and then start stretching. And as it starts to warm up to where it doesn't want to stretch much, or cool down, stick it back in here, we just want to fold this. Okay. And we'll have to kind of redunk it, which is why I told Barry you're going to need to add quite a bit of salt because, you know, what you haven't worked with the cheese yet is going to end up in our hot water here. So when it, when it starts to break, you know it's getting too cool to need to warm yes. it up again. Yes, you need to warm it up again. Now what we're looking for, if you kind of look, you pull it, I mean, right now when I tug on this, it'll still break. So that's not ready yet. You want it to be nice and stretchy, you'll kind of get a nice sheen on the finish of the cheese. But it just, it needs to be nicely stretchable and not where it'll just kind of snap in half. Having asbestos fingers helps. <laughs> yes. But looking at that, you're probably not Thanks for that. <laughs> no, we are still talking about the cheese. We are still talking okay. about the right. cheese. Right.